back to On The Football. Today's review is on the UA Fierce Football Gloves. This is a padded receiver glove from Under Armour. You can take a look in the black colorway, black with a little bit of white. And I'm gonna give you guys a detailed review. I unboxed these a couple weeks ago. This is a long overdue review. And I'm gonna cover off on the five things I always talk about when I review gloves. I'm gonna talk about the fit, the grip, the ball feel, the ventilation, and of course, the durability. So without further ado, let's get into the review. Now, I always start off my reviews by reading a little bit about the packaging just to see what the manufacturer says about the glove and then give you guys my impression of the glove. So UA Fierce padded football glove, of course we know that, I said that, padded receiver glove. Uh, this one utilizes the Game Day Armor Flex. What that is, if you're not familiar with UA Game Day Armor, check out some of my padded apparel reviews. They use it in their padded shirts, their padded uh, girdles, and the Game Day Armor that they have is used in the padding on the glove here. You can see it along the fingertips, and you're gonna see it on the back of the hand here, and uh, it's the flex version. So you can see the little marks, kinda looks like tread marks, like a tire in here, and that's the flex version of the game day armor. Uh, so that's what they use for the padding. Then it talks about the back of hand, engineered and strategically placed armor flex padding, I just said that, lightweight, breathable mesh, Panels provide UA signature moisture transport performance, so it's kind of like heat gear, saying that it pulls moisture out. Uh, we're gonna, I'll talk to you a little bit about that. Custom molded neoprene comfit cuff for additional wrist support. Again, I'm gonna go over all these, and then super sticky armor grab tack for maximum catchability, seamless one piece palm. So, now uh, let me tell you what all that stuff means in relation to the glove. I'm gonna tell you about the design. I'm gonna put the gloves on make it a little bit easier. So here's the glove, as you can see, and I talked about the game day armor, and you see this tread in here, it kinda looks like, feels like rubber, looks like rubber, uh, kinda like a tire, and that goes over the entire uh, hand. You can see it all the way up, the index finger, the middle finger, the ring finger, and the pinky. And then here, on the back of the hand, you can see it right there, that piece is completely padded. So that's gonna be a little bit different from a lot of the padded receiver gloves I reviewed uh, because they usually have strategically paced, placed uh, padding but not entirely covering the back of hand as this does. The only place where you're missing it is on the thumb uh, right here above the nail but as soon as you bend it, you get all of the padding on the hand. One piece construction, pretty much all gloves these days have a one piece construction on the palm. Uh, this glove is not perforated. Uh, I'm not sure why Under Armour moved away from that, but it still has the same stick that all Under Armour's gloves had, the Under Armour uh, grip tack or grab tack. Then it talks about the neoprene cuff. The cuff here is a little thicker because it's neoprene and um, they said it adds stability. I don't really like, like neoprene because it gets hot. Uh, but the good thing about it is that it, it is uh, compressive, so you do get a tight fit seal on uh, your wrist. And then the jock tag, of course, now that they have the NFL license, you'll see the jock tag with the NFL logo on the inside of the glove to let you know, of course, that people in the NFL do wear these gloves as well. Previously, they still wore them, uh, they just weren't allowed to be branded. Then it says the fierce name right here on the back of the hand. So. Now, let's get into all of the rankings, the IKF rankings when I talk about gloves. The first one being fit. I'll say right off the bat, I was disappointed with the fit of these gloves. Under Armour is known for their great fitting gloves. One of the things is, all of their gloves have a compressive fit. Um, and that, what that does is it gives you a really tight fitting glove, a form fitting glove. Uh, this glove is not compressive. Um, and it has to do, I think, with the padding. So it does have the mesh. It is ventilated, but it's not compressive. It fits nicely on the hand, on the fingers. If it's true to size, I wear an extra large. These are extra large gloves. Uh, but because it's not compressive, it doesn't have that same nice fit. It doesn't have a high rating as some of the other Under Armour gloves. So for fit, I did give this an 8 out of 10 for fit. Now the grip is the same as all Under Armour gloves. They have the grab tack and it's some of the stickiest stuff out there. Unfortunately, it doesn't last too long as many of you know, uh, but it does use the same palm, even though it's not perforated, it does use that Under Armour grab tack, which again, is so sticky. So out of uh, my rating, it did get a nine out of 10. Now, 
If you pay attention to a lot of my reviews, you know that Under Armour usually has great ball feel. It's because they use a super thin glove, they have a compressive fit, they have a thin glove, a well-fitting glove, and that just makes for a great uh, glove with great ball feel. Now these don't have a great as a fit. They also are a little bit more bulky because of all the padding on the back of hand. Uh, although for a padded glove, for as much padding as this has, uh, this does have good ball feel. So if you compare them to something like the, uh, the Cutter Game Days, uh, that have a fully padded glove, they're a little bit thicker, they don't have excellent ball feel. These have great ball feel. Uh, kind of on par with the Nike Super Bads, but overall for ball feel, these did get an 8 out of 10, which is a good rating for a padded receiver glove. Obviously, ventilation should be a concern for you guys just because, again, the entire back of hand is padded. So it does talk about the mesh in between. So instead of that compressive fit, you do have the mesh in between all of the uh, game day armor flex that they have on the back of hand. You see a little bit of that mesh in between, um, you know, the knuckles. And then you also have this white part, which is all mesh. So you do have a little bit of ventilation here. When it comes down to the wrist, this neoprene, you're not going to have a lot of ventilation at all. This is going to get hot. The back of hand is going to get hot. And for that reason, this did get a 7 out of 10 for ventilation. Still a good glove, but not the best glove. Where the Under Armour Fierce gloves really do excel is going to be in the durability department. Uh, this padding is durable. Again, I told you that it, it seems kind of like rubber, kind of like tires, but the Game Day Armour is very durable. Uh, durability all in the stitching. Uh, you can wash these gloves, put in the washer, you have no fear of them getting torn. Um, kind of like some of the thinner gloves, like the Spotlight gloves or the Nike Vapor Knits. Uh, so durability is super high. Now, again, many of you know that the grip on the palm is not going to last as long. Of course, Under Armour does have that glove juice, so definitely check that out to make gloves last longer. But overall for durability, these did get a 9 out of 10. Now you guys want to know where to get the glove and what colors they come in and what positions I recommend them for. The gloves cost about $45, uh, $50 to $45, depending on where you look. Uh, unfortunately, they only come in a couple colors. I've seen them in a solid black, kind of like this, a solid white with a little bit of black, and I've seen them in a white and red. So uh, if you're looking for more colors, you might want to look at a different receiver glove, something like the Sewer Bad that comes in a vast array of colors. And then what positions are these for? This is a padded receiver glove. So think about any skill position where you want padding on the hand, running backs, uh, linebackers, safeties, defensive ends, tight ends. Some uh, receivers may even want it, fullbacks. Uh, I think for linemen, you might want something else unless you're playing in youth leagues. These might be really good just because you do have uh, the grip on the palm as well. Uh, but those are the positions that I recommend these gloves for. If you like this video review, be sure to give me a thumbs up, share, like, subscribe, check out my other glove videos in the glove playlist, and I'll see you guys next time.